Hi everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel, Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make this beautiful embroidery hoop art for Mother's Day, where I will share how to prepare the base, how to make the basic sketch or drawing, and how to make these gorgeous embroidery flowers with different different techniques along with the mom and daughter and the nice finishing from backside as well. So without any further delay, let's start with the procedure. Here I am taking this embroidery hoop which is having approximately 21 cm diameter and quickly I am just fixing one nice cotton cloth inside this. So for today's project I am taking this off white color cotton cloth which is quite thick. You can use any kind of material but it should be thick and nice. Now I am fixing the hoop on the cloth nicely and tightening the lock from top. Stretch the fabric nicely so that it will be easier for us to sketch and do the embroidery work. So the base is ready. Now here I am taking one pink color paper which is 25 by 8 centimeters and I'll use this paper to create the swing. So from one corner I'll start making one pipe like this. Secure the pipe. Then taking back the hoop and the swing will go in the bottom part like this according to the width of uh, the bottom diameter I am trimming the pipe from both the sides so according to the size of your hoop you can trim it like this now I am taking back the hoop and just checking whether it is perfect or not and yes it's good then I'm taking beige color yarn and I'm going to wrap it around the pipe like this so that the pipe will get covered with the yarn and it will look nice you can also use brown color yarn now taking back the hoop and I have created one light sketch of mom and daughter like this and I'm going to fix this swing in the bottom like this so on top of this the strings of swing will come on both side of the mom and daughter so they are holding the string and if you want you can take the screenshot at this time so that you can draw your own sketch now before starting with the embroidery work quickly I am just coloring the upper part of the images using acrylic colors so for the mom's dress I will use yellow acrylic and for the girl's dress I will use light pink acrylic you can also use fabric colors So this is done then I am just adding the skin color. And for the head I am just covering it completely using dark brown color. So the coloring is done now it's time to attach the string with the swing. So taking here same beige color yarn and we just need to create the straight line like this leave the hand portion and again creating one more line till the top and making one more like this so this is done with the similar method I am going to add the string on right side and this is done now to create the twisted fawn or the leaf here I am going to use sap green color six strands of embroidery thread and just wrapping it around the 
string like this so it will like a twisted stem around the swing handle and it will look beautiful just like the whale in hindi So this is done similarly I'm going to repeat on this side and it's completely ready then I'm taking yellow color six strands of embroidery thread and I'm going to fill the dress of mom using satin stitch so this is simple stitch you have to just fill each and every part like this Now leave the hand of the daughter and on top and bottom you have to do the satin stitch. Similarly going to complete this and this is done similarly I have uh, done the satin stitch work on the daughter's dress as well. Then to decorate the neck portion I am taking 6 strands of white color embroidery thread and doing the french knot stitch. So just wrapping the thread around the needle for 2 times and making the knots just to decorate the neck portion. It will also give nice finishing. And this is done then I start making my first flower so here I have created one circle and divided this in six equal parts then taking dark pink color embroidery thread using three strands and I'm going to do buttonhole stitch like this so we have to create each petal with the buttonhole technique super duper easy Similarly going to complete the remaining petals and the flower is ready. With the same method I am going to do the two more flowers on left and right sides using light pink color embroidery thread and here also I am using three strands. So flowers are ready now it's time to make the center so here I'm taking dark pink color embroidery thread in six strands and doing the French knot like this so we have to fill the center part with the French knot pattern
and this is completely ready looking very very gorgeous then using six strands of white color thread and doing the woven rose stitch here to create the nice rose so i have just created one small circle dividing in five equal parts and then we just need to weave it alternatively to create the nice rose shape so on all the sides of pink flowers i am going to add some roses and the rose is completely ready similarly i am going to add some more roses so in the center i have added four white and on left and right sides i have added dark pink roses then taking sap green color six strands of thread and doing simple leaf stitch to create some leaves between the flowers With the similar method I am going to add some more leaves here and there. So leaves are added and also I have filled the gap between flowers using some french not using beige color. Then taking sap green color three strands embroidery thread and doing this chain stitch technique to make some stems like this. making here here and here some more stems and on the tip of each stem i am taking six strands of blue color thread and making french knot again so it will look like tiny mini flowers on the tip of each stem like this so pretty then it's time to add the hairs so i'm just dividing the head of mom in half so on the upper half we have to take six strands of dark brown color thread and i'll do the satin stitch again to simply fill the upper half like this then again taking six strands of dark brown color thread and just passing it very closely next to this and whatever length you want to add on mom's head the length of the hair you have to hold the thread on that point then we have to secure each stitch like this 
taking back the thread and in this way we have logged the previous stitch and with the similar method I am going to add hairs till the end. So here I have created one row and also added the hairs on the bottom U line. So it's time to cut all the loops using scissors. And then I am going to create nice braid by dividing the hairs in three equal parts. And then I'll add yellow color, small thread just for the bow. And the nice hairstyle is ready. With the same method, I am going to add hairs on the daughter's head. So here I have added the hairs using light brown color thread and added hair band using pink color thread. This is simple chain stitch. And for the hairstyle for mom, I have added some pink color French knots. It is looking absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Then it's time to attach the dress for daughter. So here I am taking light pink color net cloth. which is 30 by 24 centimeters so I have just folded this into half then taking pink color thread and we just need to do the running stitch on the top and creating the plates for the skirt This is done then it's time to attach the skirt like this we had to create small stitches to nicely attach the skirt with the fabric And this is completely done. The dress is looking absolutely gorgeous. With a similar method, I am going to attach the dress to the mom. And this is done. It's looking absolutely stunning. Then it's time to attach the swing with the handles like this. So we have to fix it using brown color thread. So just doing the cross stitch here and attaching the swing like this. Doing it a couple of times to fix it nicely. And from back side, I'm going to make some knots, cutting the excess thread and repeating the same process on right side of the swing. And the swing is nicely attached. It's looking very, very pretty, isn't it? So the hoop is basically ready. Now stretch the fabric nicely again and tighten the hoop cutting the corners of the square cloth and we have to fix this excess cloth on back side of the hoop. So just passing any color thread through this and doing the simple running stitch just pull the thread each time so that all the fabric will gather in the center and it's nicely done on the back side and from front the hoop is looking like this if you wish you can add the sentiment happy mother's day or your mom and your name and then I'm just decorating the edge of the hoop using this beautiful white color pom-pom lace and to stick this I'm using strong adhesive you can also use glue gun 
and just decorating this nicely. Instead of white, you can also use colored pom pom lace. And this is completely covered. If you don't have this pom pom lace, you can also use half cut pearls to decorate the edge or any kind of big size stones. That will also look nice. And the beautiful gift for Mother's Day using hoop art embroidery is ready. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and please click on bell icon for the latest updates and notifications. I am waiting for your comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.